So, um, we're going to talk about pricing today. Okay, pricing and sticking to your pricing. <laughs> if you're offering a product or a service, stick to your pricing. It's real simple. Don't allow anybody to deter you from sticking to your pricing. Don't allow anybody to make you feel like you owe them something. You don't, okay? When they go to get their they bags from uh, Michael Kors and Louis Vuitton, Walmart, shit, whatever, they're not over there negotiating prices. They're not over there hemming and hawing and, oh, well, this, no. Only way that they're doing that is if a store is displaying that we price match and, you know, all that shit. Okay? That's it. Other than that, like, people be trying to play us when it come down to um, hairstylists, estheticians, makeup artists, photographers, anybody that's in the service industry dealing with beauty, constantly, 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 you're going to run into people trying to play you, people trying to get a plug, baby. Fuck them people. Let them know the price is the price. It is what it is. If you don't want to pay it, that's fine. You're welcome to go to someone else. You're welcome to seek other services. You are welcome to Google, whatever that you need to do to find who is in your price range, but it's not here, okay? And be firm about that shit. Don't feel bad about it and all of that. You know, well, I just need to make some money. I was just trying to make this sale or whatever. I get that. But if you start doing that shit, you'll never stop doing that. At least for that particular person or those particular people. Because what will happen is you get them a discount one time. You give them a pass one time. You give them a plug one time. Now, every time they come to you, they expecting that same thing. Oh, well, she be plugging me. Then they get to talking to their friends, talking to other people, and telling them about whatever y'all had going on. Now other people coming to you. Oh, well, you plug such and such. You did her so in $400. Why mine got to be $250? Or why mine got to be $200? Or whatever you charge, you know? Mm -mm. Another thing, if you have add-on services, if you have add-on services like uh, a person can get their hair done, um, but the shampoo is an add-on, or maybe they need to take down from the previous style shampoo and then put back up. That's time, that's um, product that you're using, energy, what the fuck ever. You should be charging for that, period. It should Your add-on services should be a charge. Now, if you decide that I'm not going to charge for these add-on services, that's on you. But don't be mad when you look up and your revenue ain't matching up with the hours that you putting in, okay? You gonna be mad at yourself, okay? Oh, you charge $50 for that? Oh, it's free. Oh, that's another 100 Yes, it is. And if you can't pay it, Bang! Like, the fuck? Oh, and here's my personal favorite. When people try to tell you how long something is supposed to last, and when they're rebooking their service, okay? Now, of course, granted, we want to make sure the people rebooking at the time of their service, before they even get out the chair, you know, oh, you regularly get this done. You regularly get a silk press. You regularly get a sewing. You regularly get braids or whatever. A lot of clients, they know what they, they coming for. They know what they, you know, 
and they gonna rebook for the next two weeks, next three weeks, next four weeks, because they know when they check come, they know when, you know, that's how they gonna do, you know, them, them the clients that you really want. But sometimes people undecide, some people, sometimes people don't know. Sometimes, you know, they might decide to go get a style that you don't offer, so they don't wanna, you know, pre-book. That's fine, whatever. You know what I'm saying, that's cool. But let's say they book something like, uh, and they feel like crochet sold in. Um, hell, silk press definitely. And they like, oh, I need to rebook. It only lasted such and such a time. Do not make that your problem, okay? I'm gonna say this again do not make that your problem, okay? Because Number one, people do different things with their hair. People do different things with their braids. People do different things like wash some shit that don't need to be washed or not supposed to be washed during the time that they're wearing it. Uh, they got in a fight and they man, they girlfriend, they whoever, girl at the club, whatever, done snatched this out or done you know shifted some things they done lost a couple braids they don't that's not your problem you don't live with that person you're not with them 24 7 for you to know that something happened with your work that caused a problem if your work was fire if they left your chair and they were satisfied they shit was slay baby and you know it was tight or it was secure or whatever and normally normal clients the regular people the people who used to get in the style or whatever they know how to take care of it or whatever they should normally last say a month this person come back oh it's been two weeks and it's it them be the watch watch what i tell you, them be the people that be feeling like you supposed to get them a discount them be the people that come back and be like, oh, well, I I shouldn't only have to fuck that. Let they ask no to look. The price is the price. Things last different time periods on different people depending on what that different person was doing. If you want to come back and rebook for another service, if you want to rebook for that to whatever it is, even if let's say you do touch-ups, I personally don't care for doing touch-ups. Because most of the time, by the time somebody want to touch up, it's really time for them to get a new hairdo. They just trying to uh, be cheap, you know, instead of just getting it redone. You know what I'm saying? So I I usually don't even allow for people to, to do that. And if I was to, like, oh, it don't look that bad. We just can spruce it up or whatever. They still got to pay. Period. Ain't no, oh, well, I can just. Nope. I've been in the game for a long time, over 20 years. And over the course of this time, I have learned so much about how people will try to play you and get over you. So for our stylists, um, especially the younger stylists, the newer stylists, the people who, you know, maybe you just made a career change and you getting into this industry, know that people going to try to play you. And don't let them. Your price is your price. It is what it is. If they don't want to shop with you, if they don't want to sit in your chair, that is their problem. Okay? Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel below. You know. And if you are in the Dallas DFW Fort Worth area, you can book your appointments. If you're anywhere in the world, you can shop my products, my amazing moist oil and moist body butter. They are both organic products, all natural ingredients. Please feel free to book and shop online also you can purchase wigs and bundles and tape ins on my link as well and there's a sale right now um with the promo code on there you'll see it when you go on there uh, i believe it's 15 percent off right now yeah that's what that's what it's 15 percent off right now um when you use that promo code so make sure that you click on that like and subscribe and y'all have a wonderful blessed day this has been styles by nicole bye